Hello, this is Brian Hood from the SixFigureHomeStudio.com, and today I want to talk to you about positioning. So what kind of studio comes to your mind when you think of a $15 an hour studio? Got a mental picture of that? Now, what kind of studio comes to mind when you think of a $300 an hour studio? Now, how do you imagine these two studios stack up against each other? What are the major differences? Which would you rather own? This is positioning in a nutshell. It's the image that comes into your potential customer's head when they think of you. Now, have you ever seen two recording studios that seemed similar but had extremely different rates from each other? Both have similar gear, both have similar facilities, both have similar end products, but despite the similarities, one studio charges next to nothing compared to the other. Have you ever wondered why some studios charge massive rates along with a full calendar, while others are a race to the bottom with their prices? This is what we're looking at today. It's the power of positioning. Now, the beauty of this industry is that it's a weird blend of art and engineering. There are tons of creative problems to solve, and then there are tons of logical problems to solve. And this is where the issues start. Let's move out of the recording world for a minute. Logical careers typically have a hard cap with the income. Structural engineers, for example, are not going to have a huge gap in their salaries. Good ones will make a lot, maybe 100000 a year, and decent ones will make a little less, maybe sixty or 70000 a year. There are Way better examples of this, but you get the gist of what I'm trying to say here. Artistic careers, however, do not have these same income gaps. If what you're selling is a form of art, then you get to set your own rules and your prices. And this is where we get into the art industry. What separates a $300 painting from a $40 million painting? Well, let's see if you can tell. Look at these three paintings and see if you can tell me which is which. One is street art, it's just graffiti. One is a $300 painting off of Etsy and one just sold at auction for $40 million. Now, the important part is not whether you could pick out the expensive painting versus the graffiti. The important part is understanding why, why the $40 million painting is worth $40 million. It is all based on perceived value. It's not on the time spent on the painting. It's definitely not on the effort exerted on the painting because you can look at this painting and see that this sold for, I don't know, 20 to $30 million. I forget the exact number, but not much effort on this. And it's definitely not based off the money invested in the art. The perceived value of the $40 million painting is based off of its position in the market. It has some sort of unique differentiator. I'm not an artist, so I don't know what it is, but it has some sort of unique differentiator that has launched it into the position exponentially higher than the Etsy painting or the street art. Another interesting story is Joshua Bell. Now, long story short, Joshua played his violin during rush hour in a DC Metro, Washington DC Metro station for about 45 minutes. Out of the thousand or so people to pass by him, only seven stopped to listen and he earned about $30 in tips, which it's not terrible. Um, here's the interesting part. The dude is a famous Grammy winning violinist and he was playing his $2 million 18th century violin in that Metro station. Three days prior, he had sold out the Symphony Hall in Boston, which has a ca capacity of about 2,600 people, with an average ticket price of about $100, and then that grossed him about $262,500. Now, in Josh's case, he had spent an entire lifetime to position himself in the top of his field, and the result was selling out a venue and grossing about $260,000. But what happened when he put himself in a low-value position and stripped away everything he had built up before? He earned $30 in the attention of seven people. So how does this apply to your studio? If you haven't figured it already, positioning is an extremely important concept for you to grasp. Whether you're in the country music world, the hip hop world, the rock world, or metal and hardcore like me, or virtually any other genre that's out there, there is a ton of competition. And the question is, how do you stand out from all your competition? What makes you different from all the other studios trying to compete for that same group of artists? Why would a band choose you over the studio down the road? What differentiates you from everyone else? Is it your facilities and gear? Is it the services that you offer? Is it your quality of work? Is it your specialization of a genre? Is it your social proof within a niche? Like, do you work with a lot of famous artists? The key to positioning is making sure your potential clients know and understand those differentiating factors so they see the full value of what you provide. This is what separates those two studios that look similar on paper, but somehow the market has determined that one is worth $200 a day while the other is worth $2,000 a day. Where can you improve your positioning? This is the important part of this video. Are you showing your full value to your potential clients? Or are you inadvertently holding back and not showing all your cards to your clients? Maybe you need to update your portfolio or your client list. 
Maybe you should finally build a website for your studio so people can go and see all the value you can provide them. Maybe you should finally pull the trigger on that remodel so you can turn your kinda dumpy studio into a very, very nice looking studio. Whatever it is that differentiates you, you need to make sure your clients know those things about you. But if you're drawing a blank right now and you honestly can't think of any ways that you differentiate yourself, I do have an ebook. It's called The Keys to a Six-Figure Home Studio. The link is either in the description below the video or you can just go to the sixfigurehomestudio.com backslash ebook. Happy hustling.